بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے آر ٹاپک از دا زیرو کنڈیشنل لیٹس فرسٹ ریویو واٹ اے کلاز از اے کلاز از اے گروپ آف ریلیٹڈ ورڈس دیٹ میکس سینس اے کلاز ہیز اے سبجیکٹ اینڈ اے ورب دیر آر ٹو ٹائپس آف کلاز از انڈیپینڈنٹ کلاز اینڈ ڈیپینڈنٹ کلاز Let's see what it means. An independent clause expresses a complete thought and can stand alone as a coherent, complete sentence that makes sense. Dependent clause is also called a subordinate clause and a subordinate or dependent clause does not express a complete thought and therefore it is not a sentence. A subordinate clause standing alone is a common error error known as a sentence fragment. Conditions, conditional sentences have two parts or two clauses that give a condition in the dependent clause and a result in the independent clause. So there are two clauses, one clause is dependent and the other clause is independent. The dependent clause gives us a condition and the independent clause gives us the result of that condition and these conditions are always true in the case of zero conditional they tell us if x happens y happens let's look at the structure it has two clauses we have already discussed this if clause which is also called the conditional clause and the main clause which is also called the result clause the tense in the if clause is simple present tense or the present indefinite tense and the tense of the main clause or the result clause in the zero conditional is also simple present so it means if this thing happens that thing happens this is what it means if i drink too much coffee I can't sleep at night and this is something that happens all the time whenever I drink coffee I can't sleep at night As in all conditional sentences the order of the clauses is not fixed when you change the order of the clauses you may have to rearrange the pronouns and adjust punctuation but in both cases the meaning is identical it doesn't change it remains the same whether you use the independent clause first or the if clause first let's look at some examples if you heat ice it melts the verb over here is heat in the if clause and melts in the result clause This is the dependent clause because it doesn't communicate complete sense. If you heat ice, it's not a complete sentence. It melts is an independent clause and it melts can stand alone as a coherent sentence. You can see that over here the if clause is at the start of the sentence and it is followed by a comma. But when it comes at the end of the sentence, there is no comma. in the sentence i smells if you heat it so if the independent clause comes first there is no comma in the sentence when you heat ice it melts i smells when you heat it if it rains the grass gets wet the grass gets wet if it rains when it rains the grass gets wet the grass gets wet when it rains In zero conditional sentences you can replace if with when and we have already seen the examples because both express general truths and the meaning will be unchanged it will be identical it will remain the same The zero conditional is used to make statements about the real world and often it refers to general truths such as scientific facts In these sentences the time is now or always and the situation is real and possible as you've already seen in the previous examples now let's look at some more examples if you freeze water it becomes a solid this is a fact it is a scientific reality plants die if they don't get enough water 
If my husband has a cold, I usually catch it. So this is also habitual. It always happens. If public transport is efficient, people stop using their cars. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. The zero conditional is also often used to give instructions using the imperative in the main clause. Let's look at examples. If Bilal phones, tell him to meet me at school. You can see that this is the conditional clause. If Bilal phones, tell him to meet me at school. This is an independent clause and you can see that this is an imperative beginning with the base form of the verb. Ask your teacher if you are not sure what to do. If you want to come, call me before 5. Meet me here if I get separated, if he gets separated. If you want to go out, first do your homework. When I get up late, I miss my bus. Check your understanding. The zero conditional is used when the result of the condition is no longer true, still possible, always true. Yes, always true. If you dash water for a long time, it boils, which is correct. Heat, heated, had heated. Yes, heat. If you heat water for a long time, it boils. Here are the references. That's all. Jazakallah. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.